five, four, yep. three, two, one. We I, are. I saved us. <laughs> we are live. Hello, welcome to uh, this date in history, aka TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred on this date in years past, both recognized by other historians, but mainly things we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information come from the smart device application Today in History. What happened today in history? The historical calendar and on this website on this day .com. Yep, for links to those sources, the music, and anything else uh, potentially interesting, check the underbar in the description below. Uh, anyway, I am Alexander. So, Hen. And we will be joined by the Golden Loon at some point, uh, relatively soon, hopefully. Anyway, uh, and of course, you viewer are you. Today is Moon's Day, a.k.a. Monday, March 20th, 2023. So, do you want to start us off, uh, Sohan? Sure. And, 141, six recorded Parhelion passage of Halley's Comet. Ah, and uh, Perhelion, I believe, is the closest it gets to the sun. Uh, let me double check that. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, Perhelion is a point in the orbit of a planet, asteroid, or comet at which it is its closest to the sun. So, yeah. So, all right. <laughs> I wonder if Icarus saw that and be like, no, I can do that. <laughs> if who? Icarus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well... That didn't end well for him, so... He's like, yo, I can do that easily. Ah! <laughs> okay, also, in 1345, we have... Ooh, the Black Death. A conjunction of Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn thought to be scholars at the University of Paris to be the cause of the plague epidemic. Known as the Black Death, actually caused was the bacterium Yersherina pestis spread by fleas, rats, and other animals. Yep, and uh, something people don't know about the Black Death, you know, uh, that links it to the Spanish flu, you know, the the China virus, aka Kung flu, you know, uh, is all of them originated in China. So, you know, we can thank China for the Black Death as well, you know. So, well, we've just been joined by the Golden Loon. Welcome to the show. Are you having trouble hello, sitting? Hello, no. sitting your loon. Hello, hello. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, the Black Death here. What is that? bubonic plague oh okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, and then before that day it was like the sixth recorded perihelion passage of Halley's Comet which is the closest it gets uh, to the sun yeah. so all the way in 141 though like they're recording you know astronomical events yeah. all the way back then that's incredible that is incredible yeah. but then again you know I mean, you think about the pyramids they're it, lined up with Orion's belt and all that stuff so you know astronomy has been in human nature since before you know the written word yeah and yep, lost. and Icarus was off that uh, Greek liquor saying he could fly like that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know the story about Icarus, right? Uh, no, I don't. F uh, fashioned wings out of wax to fly, flew too close to the sun and melted and he fell oh. to his death. Oh, okay. An old Greek uh, legend. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, he... <laughs> yep. Don't make him out okay. of wax, I guess is the... No, yeah, no. <laughs> I got one more. Yep. The Unity of Brittany in France. 1598, Governor of Brittany, Philippe Emmanuel, the Duke of Maracillou, submits to the French King Henry IV at Angers. Huh, Angers. His, lon his loneliness was killing him. Huh. <laughs> he must be Killing confess. him. <laughs> We also have uh, 1616, Walter Raleigh released from Tower of London uh, to seek gold in Guayana. All Ooh. right. So I wonder if someone he was, was, uh, if he was sent. Someone was actually released from the Tower of London? I know, right? <gasps> Besides, I, 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 wonder, I wonder if he was released with the, with the stipulation of he has to go find the gold, you know, like, uh, or if he was released. Uh, in Guyana, uh, Guyana of all? I think it's Guyana, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all places. Where, where gold was there? Where's Guyana? Uh, isn't it in? Uh, but I'm bum bum. Let me think. I was gonna say Africa, but I'm not sure. Are you Are you thinking of Ghana? Guyana yeah. is in Africa. Yeah. So, oh no, South America. Oh, South America. Okay. Yeah. Huh. All right. We also have 1664. Scientist Robert Hooke was appointed professor of geometry at Gresham College in London. All right. 
And, uh, yeah, wow, that's a really good picture. It's very geometrically accurate on both sides, except for the buttons. <laughs> it's a geometric face, you know? Yeah. yeah. So. Then we also have, uh, what is this? 1774, the British Parliament passed first of the Intolerable Acts, the Boston Port Act, which closed Boston Harbor until colonists would pay for damages following the Boston Tea Party. Intolerable. Intolerable. <laughs> Those, those British royals and their and their jowls. I don't know. That means we won't tolerate it. Yep. And uh, back to you, Mr. Sohan. Eighteen hundred. Electric battery discovered. Alessandro Volta reports his discovery on the electric battery in a letter to Joseph Bates, president of the Royal Society of London. Ooh. Wow. So, you know we can thank him for this. You know batteries. There you go. <laughs> That's the start. Is that it? Yeah. And also, 1815, Napoleon enters Paris after escape from Elba. Begins a hundred day rule. Yep. This is uh, after he got to, he got bored of being um, exiled. He came back, ruled a bit, and then got <laughs> exiled even harder. It's like, ah, uh, you're on timeout. Go, oh, mister. <sighs> <laughs> it's like you're all time about Mr. Suckly Blue. And I'm then like back. and then Napoleon years, Bonaparte pulls out later. an Uno reverse card. Like, no you <laughs> hundred days later, go back. Suckly blue. <laughs> <laughs> also, ooh. Damn. Uh welcome shoppers, but no whistling please. Nin eighteen nineteen, London's famous Burlington Arcade opens first shopping arcade. Huh. Shopping arcade. What is a shopping that, arcade? That place looks beautiful. Yeah, well, I, I know what they have today. They're like, go from one block to another, and they're all little shops in there. You just go in off the street, and you go out the other side of the street. Yeah. And they're all little independent stores in there. I don't know if that's what, but that's what it looks like today. Huh. Those little shopping arcades. So that, well, I've never heard of the term shopping arcade. Like, I think of arcade, I think of, like, you know, video game place. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah. But I, and when I think of shopping stuff, I don't think of that. I think of a shopping mall. It's yeah. So, well, yeah. That, that's an American uh, term, or this is an English term. Oh, okay. Ah. All so right. it's the English version of a mall. Okay. But yeah. it's, it's much smaller. It's yes. smaller. It just, and it's all little independent stores. There's no uh, anchor chain at there, anchor at the end or anything like that. Okay. Ah, so it's just like a strip mall or something. Yeah, except it's all indoors because it's little, yeah. the weather's so lousy. And it'll go from like in between blocks. You know, you go in from one street, you go out on the other side of the street, if, if the next street over if you want. That sounds interesting. And that's what it looks like. Huh. Fancy. Uh, Ludo Senor? Yeah, uh, and water breaks off behind all. Tom's Cabin, 1852. Harriet breaches stoles. Uncle Tom's Cabin, published in Boston. Huh. So I guess it has to do uh, with the uh, Civil War, uh, because that's yeah. right before, that's about what eight years before the breakout of the Civil War. Yeah. Ooh, I want to read this one. Go for it. In 1854, anti-slavery activists within the U.S. Whig political party opposed to the Kansas-Nebraska Act from the new Republican Party, notable politicians who switched allegiance, including Abraham Lincoln, Rutherford B. Hayes, Jesse A. Offer, and Benjamin Harrison. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of names. Yeah. That's a lot big of big names there. A lot of power power names there. Yep. Good old Whig Party. So, uh, we also have, while well, that was happening in 1854 as well, got the Boston Public Library opened in Boston, Massachusetts as the first large free municipal library in the U.S. Mm. Nice. In 1868, Jesse James Gang robbed a bank in Russellville, Kentucky of $14,000. Oh, man. That's 1868. Uh, 14,868. Uh, it's the equivalent of $507,440.96 today. So, it's over half a mil. That's a, that's a good haul right there. Yeah, I'd say. Yep. 
Uh, we also have uh, 1883 Jan Matzengeller received his first patent, number 274207, for a shoe lasting machine uh, which mechanized shoe production. Huh. Yeah. Shoe last lasting machine or shoe lacing machine? I think it should be. I don't know. There, there's all be. sorts of, you know, like. Uh, lasting means nothing. Yeah. So would it be like a, like a machine that automatically laces yeah, shoes? Yeah, so that would make more sense. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then uh, three years later, 1886, the first AC power plant in the U.S. began commercial operation in Massachusetts, alternating current. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Tesla won. Yeah, well, too bad he didn't, uh, you know, see the fruits of his endeavor. So... But that that seems to be how it goes, you know. People people aren't recognized until after their death. Yeah. So that's really sad. Well, it's sad, you know, when he was developing those towers for uh, to tap into the universal power grid, so to speak. Yeah, Earth's that, natural yeah. electromagnetic field. He claimed that uh, there'd be free energy for everybody. <laughs> All the investors went, "No, I don't think so. We yeah. don't want free anything." <laughs> yeah. So he got no money. Absolute disgusting greed. So. Yep. Back to you, Mr. Sohan. Sure. In 1897, French signs treaty with Emperor Benedict II of Abenicia, establishing a common border between French and the Djibouti and Ethiopia. Oh, yeah. Djibouti. Huh. Uh, Djibouti, I think. Djibouti. Djibouti, you know, like, it, it, it's, it's, Pun intended, the butt of a lot of jokes. Oh, you know? booty, is that what we're going for? No, no, that's the city <laughs> called. It's, it's called Jabuti. Oh, I, like, I got like that. Yeah. Jabuti, Yabuti, yeah. Yeah. you know? So, I don't know. And 1906, George Bernard Sellers played Captain Brassbound Conversation or Conversion. Premieres in London. Never heard of, of that either, but no. uh, I've heard of George Bernard Shaw. So. Big time. Yep. I have to. Also, 1917, after the sinking of three more American American ships, U.S. President Walter Wilson meets with Cabinet who agrees that war is inevitable. Yep. Yeah, that's when we go to World War One. Yep. Our involvement uh, was in 1917, you know, near the end of the war, but uh, we came in and, you know, kicked butt, so. Well, we was, we was already given the weapons and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. why they sunk our ships. Yeah. I, th I think we gave them the Lewis gun. Oh, yeah? Uh, I think who, so. Who yeah. invented... I think that's a British Lewis gun. Uh... Isaac Newton Lewis, a U.S. Okay, uh, I so think you're right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Good poll. C Colonel Isaac Newton Lewis, a U.S. Army officer, developed a light machine gun named after him in the years prior to World War One. Lewis attempted to get a design for a machine gun adopted by the U.S. Army, but failed. So you're right. Hey, guess what? Guess where I learned that from? Uh, where? Battlefield One. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised, you know, video games are, are you know, being respectful towards historical accuracy. Oh, like yeah, that. that, dude, they really brought the accuracy in the horrors of World War One in that game. You guys learn more from games than you did from school. Oh, I definitely did from uh, Age of Empires. Learned more about history than, you know, from from playing that one game than the, my entire 12 years of, of school. <laughs> That's not good. No, and, that, and that's not because you know, I was I was not paying attention, you know, or any of that. It's because the curriculum is just trash. They don't want educated people. They want workers. They don't want thinkers. So, um, but uh, 1920, the first one, uh, Mr. Stowen, if you don't mind. Sure, 1920, Australasian Championship Men's Tennis Adelaide Pat O'Hara would beat fellow Australian. Ronald Thomas, six three, six to four, I mean, four to six, six to eight, six to one, and six to three. Uh, I was uh, I was talking about the one before that though, but uh, interesting. Sure. Also, oh, first, also nineteen twenty, 
first flight of London to South coming from London to South Africa took one and a half months. What the fuck were they doing? <laughs> were they flapping their arms? Apparently. Well, they were just like you know every... like from from airport to airport, you know, like. I can imagine everybody <laughs> flap your arms. I hope they serve food and drinks. What is, what is, what is this Flintstones crap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that happened in 1920 as well. We got U.S. Men's Figure Skating Championship was won by Sharon Badger. All right. <gasps> oh, my God. What? what? 1930. Oh, well, before we get there, 1922, and I don't know why this isn't highlighted, the USS Langley was commissioned the U.S.'s Navy, or the U.S. Navy's first aircraft carrier. Ooh. The very Ooh, first. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Which, um, actually, like, as, as some people know, the very first aircraft carriers were actually modified, um, like, uh, like, uh, like bulk carriers. Yeah. You know? So, USS... Put the deck on top or something, yeah. Lee. Yeah. But check it out. I'm gonna have a, a picture up here. Check out this. That's the Langley, right there. They literally, as you said, they just slapped a deck on top of a, a pre-existing boat. Yeah. So. But hey, it worked. Uh, but then we also have 1930. Uh, U.S. fast food restaurant chain KFC, or Kentucky Fried Chicken, was founded as Sanders' Court and Cafe by Colonel Harlan, er, Harlan Sanders in North Corbin, Kentucky. Mm. All right. Man, you got Colonel Sanders looking like a rock star in that picture. Yeah. Yeah. Some comedian does a bit on Colonel Sanders, and they give you salt packs. Who needs salt? Oh, yeah, that's uh, John Padette. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. Oh yeah, that's what this needs, more salt. <laughs> yeah, as, a, as another joke, and then I, I run the risk of uh, get, becoming a victim of cancel culture. Uh, you know those uh, those statues of Colonel Sanders? You know? Yeah. Uh, that's that's the one statue to, well, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, you yeah know let it go, let it go. I'm just going to, well, I'm going to say it, but I'm going to mute my mic. I'm glad you... I'm so glad you didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? It's best if I just don't put that on air. You mean the brain actually pitched in and said, no, don't do that. It happens. Mouth, zip it. It happens sometimes. Not every often. Every now and then. But every now and then, like, you know, a little bug gets in my ear. It's like, don't, Ao, just, just don't. The mind overruled the mouth. Amazing with you. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, but then uh, we got some sports history, but I think it's Sohan's turn yet again. Yes. Also in sports history, 1934, American all-around female super athlete Babe Durkinson Zaharis pitches a hitless inning for Philadelphia 8th in their exhibition preseason baseball game against Brooklyn Dodgers. So uh, a hitless inning, so... Um, no hits. That's yeah. that's a good pitcher. Yeah. Oh wait, all around athlete and golfer. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I remember her as a golfer. Yeah. Also, we have a battle of interest. 1937, Franco offensive at Guadalajara, Spain. Yep. During the Spanish Civil War, right before the second one, the Second yeah. World War, at least. And 1942, General Douglas MacArthur vows, I came through and I shall return after escaping Japanese occupied Philippines. Yep. Yeah, this is when they kicked him out. Yeah. And he, 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 he would, you know, he is a man of his word. He came back, you know, like a couple years later. A lot of blood and treasures, man, but he made it. Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, you want to take uh, the first 1944? Yeah, 1944, 2,500 women trampled guards and floodwalkers to purchase 1,500 alarm clocks announced for sale at the Chicago, Illinois department store. You know what? Stereotypes exist for a reason, because they're true. You have a bunch of women trampling people to get something on sale. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Hi. like alarm clocks. It hey, happens a lot of good. time on what is it, uh, Black Friday? Or Black whatever, Friday before, before Christmas. Yeah, the stampedes hit. Yeah, like well, like yeah, there's actually like a Black Friday death count. Uh, Black Friday death counts. Uh, here we go. So far, there's been a uh, total 17 deaths and 125 injuries, and this is the list. Oh, God. So the latest one, uh, 2021, uh, and. Oh, that's weird. Uh, that there's there's a Black Friday in 2020 and 2021 during all of the lockdowns, yeah. but of course Walmart's allowed to be open. You know that's that's just fine. Yeah. Uh, the last one here: shooting at Northeast Austin Walmart in city's 83rd homicide. Suspects at large, police say. So, and here's yeah. the irony of the whole thing: you can't save more money than me because I don't go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, see, like, like, what, what was it um, that uh, once again John Panette, uh, like, um, like, what was going on about like uh, how deals are like? Oh, you can save this, you can save that. It's like, or I could not buy it and save a lot, <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. It's never how much you spend; it's always how much you save. Save. Yep. It's called sales. Yep. Anyway, we got the 20th Academy Awards in 1948. Gentlemen's Agreement, Loretta Young, Ronald Coleman won. We got a golf tournament one year later, 1949. LPGA Title Holders Championship Women's Golf at Augusta Country Club. Amateur Peggy Kirk won her only major title by two strokes from Patty Berg and Dorothy Kirby. And then the 24th Academy Awards, 1952. An American in Paris, Humphrey Bogart and Vivian Leigh won. All right. Ooh. Mr. Bogart. Humphrey Bogart was an all-time great, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. Back to you, Sohan. Sure. Okay, 1965, we have a historical publication. Civil rights and women's rights activist Dorothy Height has her first column published in the weekly African-American newspaper called the New York Amsterdam News. She accents with purple, senor. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, not just accents, but but her 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 blouse is a lighter purple too, or her her jacket oh, or whatever is? this is. So the yeah. whole ensemble is purple. Yeah. <laughs> now see, it's interesting. She said uh, it's the New York Amsterdam News. Yeah. Do you know what New York used to be called? What? New Amsterdam. It used oh, to be a Dutch oh, colony. I do remember that. And it was taken yeah. over by the British, and then there was wars, fight, fight. You know, it went back and forth, back and forth, yeah. and it became New York. You know, again, I do and remember it's stuck. something about that way. Yeah. Yep. You trigger something. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the more you know. Also, yeah. 1967, Springs released their single, The Happening. Yeah. Well, oh, hopefully... God, that picture of Diana, Ran Diana Ross scares me. Yeah, she like is. She's like she's staring into your soul. Yeah. Looks like she's about to suck your essence straight out of your eyes. <laughs> See, she's like pleasant dreams. <laughs> she's like uh, uh, she's like the ghost of Stonewall Jackson from uh, from uh, Anchorman too. Yeah, thank you. Release your soul to I me. Like, <laughs> I like how they're mentioning Stonewall Jackson, but those fuckers had a Minotaur. That's not even history. That's mythology. I know, right? <laughs> also, too much 1968, facelift. LBJ signs a bill removing gold backing from U.S. paper money. Boo! Bad, bad move. Very bad move. Wait a second. Nixon did that before him. Signs bill. FDR actually started it in 1944. It was it was a yeah. long process, but uh, they, 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 they... Oh, this is gold. I'm sorry. I'm, ba I'm trying to figure out the difference. He got us off the gold standard. This is the gold backing of the dollar. Well, it's isn't different. that the same as gold standard? No, gold standard is uh, we're... Your money's valued towards the gold. Whatever gold is, that's the value of your money. This is not backing up the dollar with gold. Oh. Yeah, well, you know... I had to figure that out. Go, Wait a second, that's not making sense. A slow, gradual process of, you know, turning us into, you know, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Well, yeah. You know? So... Look at uh, Silicon Valley Bank. The, oh God! The ultra rich got bailed out. The rich of the rich got yeah, bailed out. Of course. The ones with the biggest shots, the mansions that are really more like castles, they all got bailed out. And of course, the Chinese companies. Yeah. What a surprise. Yeah. Uh, 
Then we're going to move on up. We got some sports history here in 1969. Ethiopian double Olympic marathon gold medalist uh, Abibi uh, Bikila was paralyzed in an auto accident near Addis Ababa, regained upper body mobility, but never walked again. That's awful. He was a marathon runner. Oh, man, that's all. You know, like, even though I haven't cycled in many years, you know, biked, bicycled, yeah. and all that stuff, like, you know, I, I would like to get back into that. And one of my biggest fears, like, in life is if I go paralyzed from the from the waist down, if I can't get on a bicycle again, hmm. I, I don't know how I'd live. Like, you figure it out. Trust you know. You'd figure it out. You're a survivor. Yeah. <sighs> we'll see. 1971, Northern Ireland Prime Minister James Chinchester Clark resigned in protest uh, at what the view he viewed as a limited security response by the British government. And more of the troubles, you know, uh, yeah. free Ireland, you know, which, yeah. you know, once again, I say Ireland should be free, Scotland should be free, but right now, because of geopolitical problems, I see why Scotland should remain as part of the UK, uh, because if they if they do become independent. For a brief moment of time, they will no longer be in the EU. Right. So there will no longer be jurisdiction in those waters, and then Russia could just come right through. So, like, there's a whole video about it. It's scary as hell. So, but it explains why, you know, Scotland most likely will never be independent, you know, in the immediate future. It's all because of Russia. So, Hmm. because of the EU and all that stuff. Anyway, um, well, actually, uh, they're not part of the EU anymore. Brexit. But no, they're still part of, the, but they are part of NATO. So oh, yeah, absolutely. That, that's the other thing. Great Britain? Oh, absolutely. Well, no, because because Scotland is part of you know Great Britain. If Scotland becomes independent, yeah. they will no longer be part of uh, not the EU, but uh, the uh, NATO. NATO, yeah. Okay. Uh, because they're a new nation, you know, they yeah. have to like yeah. you know like apply. And, uh, yeah, and all that crap. Have so. a certain amount of military strength and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, here we go. 1973, Pittsburgh Pirates right fielder Roberto Clemente elected to Baseball's Hall of Fame 11 weeks after his death in a plane crash. Now, memory isn't the greatest, but I believe it's Roberto Clemente that uh, now all the baseball players can thank for free agency because he sued. I believe so. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Hold on a second. Uh, Who sued uh, for... In baseball, who sued for free agency? Uh, F- Flood versus Commissioner oh, Coon. Excuse me, it's Kirk Flood. Never ah, mind. okay. Wrong guy. All right. Well, see, that's why we look it up. Yeah, I'm glad you. And like I said, memory doesn't serve me well nowadays. <laughs> well, you are a Canadian. <laughs> you know. I was going with the old card. Well, I I play that so often, and it's it's kind of old hat now. You know, so move on, please. 1976, U.S. publishing heiress Patty Hearst convicted of armed robbery for her part in a 1974 California heist. Yeah, we spoke about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah how she was uh, Stockholm syndrome essentially. Yeah, absolutely so. right. Did not treat her kindly. Yep. Back to you, Mr. Sohan. You got an election of interest here. So, election of interest, 1977, Parisian elect former PM Jacques Serrat as. First mayor of a century in a century. Ooh, okay, huh. a century. First mayor in a century. Hmm. That, what? What? Huh? Okay, I guess. I guess Paris didn't have a mayor for ten years. I don't know. That's weird. Century is uh, ten years. You mean a h- hundred oh. years? A hundred years. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. A decades of ten years. Also, nineteen seventy-seven. Another election issues, Premier Indrina Gandhi elections in India. Ah, uh, she lost an election in India. Yeah. Okay. And 1983, in a clash of tennis legends, Tina Nara Nataria Lova, all classes Chris Everett Lloyd. Six to two, six to zero, to win her first of five straight WTA World Champ- Tour Championship at Madison, New York City. Huh. Tennis in Madison Square Garden. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know like you could have a tennis in Madison Square Garden. 
Why not? Well, I, I, I don't know. Like Play basketball there? Put a court on it. If they can have wrestling, boxing, and football, they can have tennis. Huh. All right. Going to move on up. We got a world record in 1987. Yvonne Van Gnip skates Lee's world record of 5 kilometers in 7 minutes, 20.36 seconds. Jeez. That's fast. Yeah. What is 5 kilometers anyway? Let's uh, check that side. 3 miles. Uh, 5 kilometers to miles. Hold on. 3.1 miles. 3.1, okay. So that's, that's, that's fast. Yeah. We also have 1988 defending champion Mike Tyson defeated Tony Tubbs by technical knockout in round two at the Tokyo Dome, Tokyo, for the undisputed world heavyweight boxing title. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this guy again, 1989 baseball announced Reds manager Pete Rose is under investigation. Yep. You know, he was uh, caught in a gambling thing. There's so many baseball people who were gambling. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, you, you don't make enough money. You know, you're, you're literally you're you're getting paid. To go out and have fun, you know. Well, not only was he, was he bet, betting on baseball, but he is betting on the uh, Reds, who he managed. Yeah, that's that's very uh, not good. No. So, because then, like you know, he can, you know, if he bets against the Reds, he can make it so that they lose. Yeah. You know, not not good. Unfortunately, uh, he should be <clears throat> for his baseball play. He should be in the Hall of Fame, I think. But he's banned. Yeah. Well, remember the other day, uh, those three people were reinstated. After, you know, uh, they got kicked out for gambling and all that stuff mm. in the Baseball Hall of Fame? I didn't hear about that, no. No, you were, you were here. Like, I was? Yeah, we, I, I read it and it said, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. We're reinstated oh, into okay. the Baseball Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah. So, but speaking of, uh, speaking of um, great players and such, uh, Mr. Sohan. Yeah. You're going to talk about one of the greatest basketball people uh, ever. Yep. 1990, L.A. Lakers retired Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's 33. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, this is the joy of being old. I, I got the privilege of watching him all through college. Nice. Uh, unbelievably good. In fact, uh, college basketball banned dunking the ball because of him. Huh. <laughs> no one could stop him. I would have thought they would have done that for Shaq because I remember because uh, Shaq talks about the story the first time he broke the backboard oh, really? in, yeah. in high school yeah. and uh and like like he he did it like 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 he was like in the auditorium or something by himself or something i don't know like like it wasn't during a game or whatever uh but then like uh later the the coach came up and said hey look i know you're the one who did that okay like <laughs> essentially you're the only one that could do that yeah but kareem was way before shaquille o'neal oh yeah but yeah, they literally made it illegal to dunk the ball in huh. basketball. They reinstated it later after he was long gone. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that that's that's you know that's a testament. Then. Yeah. Mr. Sohan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nineteen ninety. Yeah, a singer Gloria Estefan fractures her spine when a truck hits her tour bus near Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's horrible. That's awful. Yeah. Wow. Ouch. So. Also, 1991 court awards Peggy Lee three million in suit against Diffy regarding home video Roy- royalties. Huh, so Disney being dirty again. What a surprise. Da, 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 da. Yep. <laughs> and uh, why don't you close us out with more music history here in 1991? Also in 1991, Michael Jackson signed a $65 million deal with Sony Records to produce six albums. Wow. wow. That's um, your turn. Yep, while that was happening in 1990 as well, or 1991 as well, the U.S. forgave a $2 billion uh, in loans to Poland. Nice. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind? Don't pay us back. Never mind. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. 1992, Manuel Noriega's wife, Felicidad, was arrested for stealing buttons from dresses. What? Who steals buttons? Like, is she going around with one of those, like, like you know, the little blue handle little thing? That, you know? could, that could start the war of the buttons. Oh, God. <laughs> like, 
the buttons were to make it. They were they were a currency. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You all know about the War of the Buttons. Of course. Nobody else does. No, so. nobody. 1993, Dan Jansen skated world record 500 meters in 36.02 seconds. That's pretty fast. We got a music single, 1995, Beals, released single, a cover of Sherelle's song, Baby It's You, written by Bert Bacharach and Mac David, with late John Lennon as lead singer, first Fab Four single in nearly 10 years. Dang. 1995, Beatles were still doing stuff. Yeah. But even though half of them were yeah. dead. <laughs> so. And uh, 1997, we got a theater premiere, Cheryl L. West and Sheldon Epps musical Play On, an, adapt an adaptation of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, set in 1940s Harlem, featuring music of Duke Ellington, opened at Brooks Atticon's Theater, New York City, ran for 61 performances. All right. And, Mr. and year, year 2000, Pope John Paul II visits Holy Land, Jordan, Israel, Palestine. All right. Uh, if you don't yeah. mind, uh, can you can you do the last 1999? I've actually been there. Also, 1999, uh, Legoland, California's first Legoland outside of Europe opens in Carlsbad, California. Yeah, we went there for my birthday once. Yeah, when you were a little kid. Yeah, and uh, my friend at the time couldn't be bothered to get on the roller coaster or any of that. Scared him. Wow. The roller coaster at Legoland yeah. scared him. What a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> also, 2002, 16th Soul Train Music Awards, the OJs, Dr. Dre, and Alicia Keys win. All right. Ooh, the invasion of Iraq. Yep. 2003. A U.S.-led coalition launches a ground invasion of Iraq after an ultimatum Dom Hussein and his sons to leave Iraq expires. Yep, we started, uh, we actually, the, the anniversary started uh, yesterday, um, that's when the uh, airstrikes start, you know, oh, started happening. The, the uh, oh, what's it called? Mm, yep. Oh, well, no, this isn't Desert Storm Who and Desert Shield, this is uh, Operation Enduring Freedom Enduring or Freedom. Operation I Iraqi Freedom. Huh. So, this is after 9-11. Wasn't that called sh uh, sh Oh, yeah, no, I know. Shock and awe is what the bombing was called. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, well we did that in the first Gulf War, too. Yeah. You know, we, we heavily bombed them, you know, like yeah. Blitzkrieg and everything. Took a page right out of Hitler's book. So, you know, hey, it works. Also, also 2004, 18th Soul Train Music Awards, R. Kelly, Janet Jackson, Outkast, and Beyonce win. I'm huh. saying no guy because of R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly. And not... We um, don't... He done pissed his career down the drain. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> you know, I just saw a meme, like, uh, yesterday. It's like, when you're uh, when you're in a uh, prison shower with R. Kelly and you suddenly feel the temperature of the water get warmer on the back of your leg, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, you know about R. Kelly, right? No, not really. Yeah. Uh, he, he, uh, golden showers on underage people. Not good, so... Anyway, 2004 as well, Stephen Harper won the leadership of the newly created Conservative Party of Canada, becoming the party's first leader. All right. We need some conservatives That's in Canada. So, and uh, two years later, 2006, over 150 uh, Chadian soldiers were killed in eastern Chad by members of the rebel UFDC. The rebel movement sought to overthrow Chadian President Idris Deby. Huh. And then 2016, Obama, uh, Barack Obama became the first U.S. president to visit Cuba since 1928, arriving for a 3D tour. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, yeah he wow. met Castro. And they were talking bad about him. I'm sorry, what was it that uh, uh, Loon said? No, I just said we didn't get along with Fidel too well. Yeah, no. It actually it wasn't until like 2000, like, like eight or something, we actually... Uh, released all of us the tariffs or, or no we uh we reestablished diplomatic relations yeah. with cuba like, yeah, i don't know the date but yeah like within 20 years ago so oh well within 20 years ago. yeah but back to you mr sohead sure in 2018 actress cynthia nixon and us is evil run for governor ah 
Also, in 2008, yeah. Medium, yeah, they, they tried talking bad about Trump about this. Uh, uh, Medium of interest, 2018, Saudi, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam meets with U.S. President Donald Trump at the White House. Huh. Mohammed bin Salman. Sounds fishy to me. So. Uh, uh, 2019, uh, actually, the Finland one. What? Huh. Also, 2019, Finland is the world's happiest country. South Sudan is the world's least happiness, according to annual World Happiness Report. Huh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> hmm. This is, a cre this is creepy. 2019, four men arrested in South Korea for secretly filming 1,500 hotel guests and selling the footage via a website. Yeah, that is creepy. Also, ooh, 2019, Walt Disney Company acquires Rupert Murdoch's 21st century entertainment business for $71 billion. Now, that wasn't like the entire thing they just they just bought certain sections of fox uh but you know they did uh they do disney now owns you know the uh the alien uh universe the franchise mm -hmm. you know like yeah. uh you know the 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 the, 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 the mouth and mouth thing xenomorphs. the xenomorphs thank you uh they also own mm -hmm. uh, predator and they also now own uh, avatar not the last airbender but the blue people the navi ones yeah so so that means it, the Xenomorph Queen is now a Disney princess. Now you cannot say a damn thing about it. <laughs> yeah, technically you're right. So, uh, why don't you take this last one here before we move on to the burst and deaths? Also, 2020, after 20 years with the New England Patriots, six-time Super Bowl winner, winning quarterback Tom Brady, officially agreed to move the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a two-year, 50 million guaranteed deal. Damn. So he went from the New England Tom Brady's to the Tampa Bay Tom Brady's. Yep. Hey, he took him to the yes. Super Bowl. Yep. And won. Yep. Anyway, before we move on to the burst of deaths, uh, were there any articles that grabbed anybody's attention more than most? Like, uh, that's a difficult question. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's always a difficult question. Yeah. Quick. Uh, there was a bunch of cool stuff in there. Yeah. From real small tidbits to, uh, major stuff yeah you know as a historian you know like like doing these doing this on a daily basis you know as i said it's, it's really <coughs> difficult uh you know picking yeah. and choosing and such but uh, what about you so anything that grabbed your attention more than most uh operation enduring freedom oh yeah oh yeah yeah uh, as Zaloon here said, and I agree, you know, the uh, discovery of the electric battery, which, how do you discover it? You invent it. Yeah. You know, it's not like he dug it out of the ground or something. Right. You yeah. know? They're not stating that right. Yeah. So, anyway, audience, uh, were there any articles that grabbed your attention more than most? Anything you wish we had elaborated more about? Anything you would have liked to say had you been here? Start a dialogue in the comments section. Anyway, we're going to move on to the burst, and I have a feeling we're going to be losing the, uh, the loon here. Yes, I am. All right. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us. You bet. Anyway, we're going to start off, uh, us off in 43 BC. We have Ovid. Publius Ovidus Naso was a Roman poet, metamorphosis, and died in the year 17. Dang. And we also have Henrik Ibsen, 19, uh, 1828, Norwegian playwright, Pierre Gint Hedda Gabler, born in Skien, Norway. I've seen this guy's picture a couple of times. We have Frederick Winslow Taylor, 1856, a U.S. mechanical engineer and the father of scientific management, born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, scientific management, huh? All right. Mr. So, uh, you got one. Yeah? Your turn. You got one more? Uh, no, that was my three. Okay. Which one you did? Uh, you uh, do uh, 1922. Okay. 1922, Carl Reiner, American comedian, actor, screenwriter, your show of shows, 2002, Year Old Man, Dick Van Dyke Show, director, the comic, the jerk, and author in, yeah, an author, born in the Bronx, New York. Ah, uh, the Bronx! Yo, I don't know. Ooh, that's oh, that's a wonderful man. day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day for a neighbor. Do you, you want to be my neighbor? 1928, 
Fred Rogers, American Children's TV host, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and Presbyterian Minister born in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. All right, happy awesome. birthday, Mr. Rogers. Also, 1936, we have Vaughn Mead. Uh, American comedy a comedian and musician born in Waterville, Maine. Huh. Huh, he was born in a water main? Huh. <laughs> well, we got Brian Mul uh, Mulroney, 1939, he's 84 today, and is the, uh, what well, was the 18th Prime Minister of Canada from 84 through 93, born in Bayeux, Camo, Quebec. All right. Bobby Orr! Hey, number four, Bobby Orr. 1948, he's 75 today. Canadian Hockey Hall of Fame defenseman, Art Ross Trophy, 1975, 1970 and 75. Stanley Cup, 1970, 72, Boston Bruins. Uh, Eight-time NHL first All-Star team. Eight-time James Norris Trophy. Born in Perry Sound, Ontario. Happy birthday. William Hurt, uh, 1950, U.S. Academy Award-winning actor, Big Chill, Children of a Lesser God, Kiss of the Spider Woman. Broadcast News, born in Washington, D.C., he died last year in 2022. Well, I guess that's got to hurt right there. So. Yeah. And then back to you, good sir. And 1957, we have Spike Lee, American film director, Mo Bella Blues, Jungle Fever, Malcolm X, and Do the Right Thing, born in Atlanta. Born in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know what happened to So and he just vanished. So. Uh, until he gets back, I'm going to take over here. 1958, we have Holly Hunter. She's 65 today. U.S. actress, broadcast news, and the piano. Born in Conyers, Georgia. Uh, was there somebody else who was in broadcast news that we just talked about? Yeah, William Hurt. So William Hurt and Molly Hunter, or Holly Hunter, share a birthday. They both uh, share a movie. That's interesting. David Thewlis, 60 years old today. Born on, on this date, 1963. Uh, English actor Remus Lupin. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy. Uh, Mr. Sohan, you were talking about this guy earlier today. Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, you're not Sohan. Sorry, you're St. Michael. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there he is. There's Sohan. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, we are now in 1963. And also, welcome to the show, St. Michael. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. All right. Oh, we're in 1963 now. Yeah, okay, you were talking about this guy earlier. Yeah, 1963, David Dewis, uh, English actor, Remus Lupin in the Harry Potter series, born in Blackpool, Lancashire. Land yeah. Yep. Nice. Also, skipping, skipping, skipping. There is a oh, yeah, more I, I gotta do this one. 1976, Chester Bennington, American singer and songwriter, Linkin Park, Grey Days, and Dead by Sunrise, born oh. in Phoenix, Arizona. Wow. He died in 2017. Yeah. That sucks. Linkin Park, I, I like them. So. Anyway, uh, unless there's any other bursts you can see, I'll give you a yeah, minute to... 1984... Marcus Vick, not Michael Vick, American uh, footballer. Uh, football player. Yeah. Oh. Yep. A footballer is a soccer person, I think. Yeah. Oh. Also, uh, damn, 2000, Hyo, Hyunjin, Hwang Hyunjin, South Korean dancer and K-pop star, Stray Kids, grow up, born in Seoul, South Korea. Huh, well he's 23 years old today. Dude, yeah. that's that's gotta be like easy. Like, how old are you? Well, I was born in 2000. What's year, what year is it? 2037. I'm 37. Like, <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the desk, starting us off in 687. We have St. Cuthbert, was a patron saint of Northumbria. Uh, BC 634. I don't know what that is. That's not BC. Born something 634. I don't know. Then we also have uh, Henry the Fourth of England, died on the state in 1413. It was a king of England, of course, and Lord of Ireland from 1399 through 1413. Died at the age of 45. 
And then Albert of Prussia, 1568, was the first Duke of Prussia, died at the age of 77. And I want that hat. And that beard is also pretty cool. Like, kind of goes with it. Like, the whole ensemble is, is pretty snazzy. So. Yeah. Also, 1937, we have Henry Valden, English golfer, six-time British Open champion, U.S. Open, 1990, dies of lung cancer at 66. Damn. Good old golfer's hat. So. Yep. And 1962, A.E. Douglas, American astronomer and inventor of Dino Chronology, Three Ring Dayton. Died at nineteen. I mean, died at ninety-four. Wow. So, uh, so like we all know, like you count the rings in a in a tree stump, you can tell how old it is. But like, it sounds like he figured out like you know the semantics of larger rings. You know, we uh, indicate more growth. You know, uh, more wet seasons and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. Also, nineteen sixty-four, Brendan Benham, Irish author and poet. Austrian boy in the hostage dies at 41. Huh. Alright. Who else uh, did we lose on this day? Malcolm Fraser, 2015, was an Australian Prime Minister for the Liberal Party, 1975 through 83. Died at the age of 84. Huh. Then Kenny Rogers, 2020, U.S. pop and country singer, songwriter, The Gambler, and through the years, an entrepreneur, Kenny Rogers Diaries, or Kenny Rogers Roasters, dies of natural causes at 81. Didn't he do stuff with Jackass? Uh, I don't think so. Or... I don't know that he did. I know that he really started to creep me out there later in life with all no, the no, no, uh, no. plastic that surgery was... on his face. That was a uh, bad TV, Kenny Rogers Jackass. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That's right. I got, I he really see went overboard too. on the plastic surgery there, you know, towards the end of his life. He should have knew when to hold it. And well, you don't see it, it that often with men, though. You know, you see it with these women where they turn into these, like, Egyptian cat lady looking people, you know? It's, oh, yeah. Sphinxes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, but you don't really see it with men that often. Where are we talking did, about he's that? He's one of them that did that. I'm about to say, Mickey Rourke. Yeah, there you go. There, there would be another one, right? Uh, we were talking about that earlier uh, with somebody, uh, so in, like uh, the person who was looking into our soul, where is she? Uh, Diana Ross. Yeah. Where is she? Why can't I find her? Oh, does she look oh, like a real she cat is. lady now? Yeah. Houston. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Great. Looks like something you see off of Sleepwalkers. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't remember that movie. Well, oh, anyway... I think that shall conclude the show. Once again, you can check the underbar in the description for any links you may find interesting, including but not limited to all things Omni Coalition, which in itself includes... Sohan TV on Twitch. Yep, go check him out. He was, uh, I was watching him play, uh, what game were you playing? Tekken 7. Tekken 7, yeah. So, he streams every now and then, so go give him a check out. Anyway, uh, for your dose of passive events daily, we stream every day at 10 in the morning Pacific time, which is 11 Mountain. 12 Central. And 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For all of you and all of us, I am Xander. Go ahead. St. Michael. Yep. And uh, we had uh, the Golden Loon for the main body of the show earlier this uh, this broadcast. And, of course, you here are you. And until you catch us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. Rate five thumbs and subscribe. Toodles! Where's, where's it? There it is. Okay. Uh, how do I? There it is.